Members of the Imperial Family of Japan attend a concert in Tokyo. The Spanish Royal Court releases new photos of Princess Leonor of Asturias. Crown Prince Haakon of Norway celebrates 100 years of nature conservation in Norway. And Crown Princess Mary of Denmark opens a new nature trail in North Jutland. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And happy Friday. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for August 18th, 2023. Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, attended the inauguration of the new school center, Jetsmark, in Kos, North Jutland, this afternoon. According to a press release, the school center, Jetsmark, is a, quote, new and modern setting for learning and well-being for the area's children and young people, end quote. Upon her arrival, the crown princess was warmly welcomed by hundreds of local residents, the mayor of Yammerboat Municipality, Mr. Moines Christian God, and local government representatives. After the inauguration, the crown princess had a chance to tour the new building, stop in on several classes where she met with students and teachers, and much more. In the late afternoon, the crown princess laced up her hiking boots to preside over the inauguration of a new nature trail in the village of Tornby in North Jutland. The 14-kilometer nature trail passes through beautiful landscapes in Tornby and out onto the dunes. According to the chairman of the Tornby Residents Association, Mr. Torben Christensen, via a press release, the nature trail, quote, focuses on both cultural history and nature. Historically, there has been some shooting trade starting from the beach at Tornby, which is why the route is also called the Skutstitten. No, that's not right. It's called the Skutstitten. Anyway, he goes on to say that, quote, we have fantastic nature around Tornby, and when we can spice it up with cultural history, it provides the opportunity for many fine experiences, end quote. After speeches were made and the red ribbon was cut, the crown princess then set out on an approximately seven-kilometer hike alongside dozens of local residents. At the end of the hike, the crown princess was asked about today's events in North Jutland. The crown princess replied, quote, It has been a lovely day, first with the inauguration of a new school and then going out and hiking on a new nature trail, which is so incredibly beautiful and very varied. So, it's a really good way to start the weekend. The trail provides such a good opportunity for people to get out and enjoy nature and get some exercise and have a relationship with nature." End quote. In Brunby, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, as patron of the Badminton World Championships, visited the National Elite Training Center. While at the center, the Crown Prince met with Team Denmark, training for the upcoming Badminton World Cup. In a social media post, the Crown Prince said, quote, Brunby Holland was filled with both good mood and intensity. When today, as patron of the Badminton World Championships, I witnessed the final preparations among the Danish players. It was a great pleasure to be allowed to see and hear about the players' preparations for the World Cup, which starts on Monday in the Royal Arena in Copenhagen. Signed, the Crown Prince. End quote. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark has created the costumes and set design for the upcoming Netflix film entitled Erengard, The Art of Seduction, directed by Mr. Billy August. The film is based on the novel Erengard by Karen Blixen. The official synopsis reads as follows, quote, In the fairy tale kingdom of Babenhausen, a young, self-appointed expert on love, Mr. Kazot, is hired by the scheming Grand Duchess to help her secure an heir. While searching for a suitable future princess, Mr. Kazo teaches the timid and introverted Crown Prince Lothar the art of seduction and lovemaking. But their plan soon backfires when an heir is conceived out of wedlock and the royal family has to seek refuge in the castle of Rosenbad. Here, as rivals within the royal family close in on their scheme, Kazot himself falls in love with Erengard, the maid of honor, and, 
Gradually, he learns that, in fact, he's no expert on love at all. End quote. This is not the first time Her Majesty the Queen has designed costumes and sets for film, television, and theater productions. Most recently, for The Nutcracker, The Snow Queen, and Cinderella at Tivoli Theater. Her Majesty the Queen is also an honorary member of the Association of Danish Sonographers. Erengard, The Art of Seduction will premiere on Netflix on September 14th, 2023. If you're interested in watching the trailer for the film, in the description box below, I will leave a direct link to Netflix's official YouTube channel. His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Haakon of Norway, attended a celebration at the Folkstumera Nature Reserve on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of nature conservation in Norway. Established in 1923, the Folkstumera is the oldest nature reserve in Norway. Quote, the eight square kilometers of wetlands is known for its rich bird fauna and plant diversity. End quote. During today's celebration, the Crown Prince was given a tour of the nature reserve. After the tour, the Crown Prince said that it was, quote, exciting to walk here in the area and to see how the wetlands are taken care of, end quote. In Stockholm, His Majesty King Carl Gustav of Sweden held a meeting with the Prime Minister of Sweden, Mr. Ulf Christensen, at the Conligo Satet. In Madrid, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain held a meeting with the President of the Senate, Mr. Pedro Emmanuel Ojeda, at Palacio de la Zarzuela. During the meeting, discussions focused on the Constitution of the Senate of the 15th Legislature. Meanwhile, the Spanish Royal Court released new photos of Her Royal Highness, Princess Leonor of Asturias, on her first full day at the Academia General Militar de Zaragoza. During her military training, the princess will be known as Garete Borbon Otis. In Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, the ruler of Abu Dhabi, received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to the United Arab Emirates at Al Wanton Palace. The newly appointed ambassadors are from Malaysia, the state of Kuwait, the Holy See, the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, the United Kingdom, the Republic of Panama, the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, the Republic of Angola, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Kingdom of the Netherlands, the Republic of Chad, the United Republic of Tanzania, the Republic of Colombia, the Swiss Confederation, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and the Republic of Rwanda. Not to be outdone by receiving letters of credence, in Doha, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, also received, well, you probably guessed it by now, letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to Qatar at the Emiri Dewan. So, who are the newly appointed ambassadors? Well, let's see. We have the new ambassador from the Republic of Tunisia, the Federal Republic of Germany, the Republic of India, Australia, and Turkmenistan. In Tokyo, their Imperial Majesties, Emperor Norohito and Empress Masako of Japan, accompanied by Her Imperial Highness, Princess Aiko of Japan, attended a classical music performance by violinist Ms. Noboku Imai at Centauri Hall. Meanwhile, the Imperial Household Agency announced that Her Imperial Highness, Princess Kako of Akishino, will make an official visit to Peru in early November. This will be Princess Kako's second official overseas visit since 2019. In 2019, the princess visited Austria and Hungary. The princess, who was scheduled to meet the president of Peru, was invited to visit the beautiful country on the occasion of the 150th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Japan and Peru.
The IHA also announced that Her Imperial Highness Princess Aikiko of Mikasa will visit France and Switzerland from September 9th through the 19th. The princess, as honorary president of the Japan Rugby Football Union, is scheduled to attend the Rugby World Cup in France to cheer on Team Japan. And finally, Their Majesties King Rama X and Queen Sothada of Thailand presided over the opening of the 2023 Mother of the Land Trust Fair held inside the Royal Jubilee Ballroom at the Impact Arena Exhibition and Convention Center in the Non Thaburi Province. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow on Saturday, August 19th with all the latest world news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful afternoon and a great weekend. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, happy Friday, everyone. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.